Hi, my name is Charity. I work at the St. Albert Public Library and I am happy to be here with you to share some books that have been chosen especially for grade five. The first book that I want to tell you about is called Front Desk. It's all about Mia and she works the front desk of a motel even though she's a kid. Now the reason she has to work the front desk is because her parents have been hired to manage the place and they have their hands full. The place is really run down. They need all the help they can get. Mia's really excited when she finds out she's going to be living at a motel because it has a pool and Disneyland is just down the road. But those dreams evaporate pretty quickly upon meeting the owner. He forbids Mia from ever swimming in the pool and he barely pays her parents enough money to afford food, let alone Disneyland. But Mia is pretty amazing. She has big ideas on how she can fix this. The next book that I want to tell you about is called The Matchstick Castle. Now this one starts off with something pretty timely, online school. Brian has been looking forward to a summer filled with soccer tournaments and his friends when his dad gets a job offer and it means that he's suddenly shipped off to stay in boring Illinois with his uncle who's a computer programmer. His uncle has developed a program called Summer's Cool and Brian is expected to be uh, like a beta tester and do the program all day long. One day, though, he ventures deep into the woods and gets lost and discovers a place called the Matchstick Castle. It is a huge and dangerous place and is home to a family of explorers. It is a great place to escape. The last book I want to tell you about is called The Short News. Now, this one's not a novel. Summer reading doesn't always have to be novels. This one is a collection of news stories. They're all true, and they're illustrated with Lego. So you can read about the boy who discovered a dinosaur by tripping over its tail, or about the time two dogs took their owner's car for a joyride and uh, how it ended. There are more books that I would recommend to you. You'll find them on the list at the end of this video. If it says library, that means that it's a physical copy that you can request. If it says Libby or Hoopla, that means that they are digital resources that you can access with your library card. And you can always uh, request a personalized book list. And you can do this through a form on our website, or you can send us an email at jsapl at sapl.ca. Don't forget to check our website for more information about our summer reading game. It's called Escape the Labyrinth. I'm wishing you the best summer possible, and I also hope that that involves some summer reading. Bye!